And we're back. Mike Service, DangerandPlay.com. Gorilla Mindset, paperback version of Danger and Play, as his masculinity is out. We have an important thing to we have an important thing to talk about. An important conversation to have. This is my this is my hair. I'm a 39 year old man. Okay, this is my hair. See how sheeny it is. See how much thickness it has. Look at the body in the hair. Okay. I haven't washed my hair in probably four years. Hey, Shauna, do I wash my hair? Exactly. If you didn't hear Shauna, she said you shower, but you don't shampoo and condition your hair. I don't put shampoo in my hair. Shampoo, girls might need shampoo. Men, men I can't, you know, it's like so much blows my mind about this world. The um, men don't need to shampoo their hair. It's people are going, yuck. Oh, really? How does your hair look? How does your hair look? L let me see pictures of your hair. Mark Cuban is a billionaire who spends big money on hair plugs. His hair doesn't look like this. Look at this. This isn't a comb over. This isn't anything. That's my hair. The proof is in the hair. Shampoo for men. Women are a little bit different. Shampoo for men is a scam. Now, people are going to say that sounds crazy. No, God, look, I want to give you a brief, a brief media 101. You know what's effective for hair? A can of sardines a day. Eat a can of sardines packed in olive oil. A can of sardines packed in olive oil. And that's what you need. So, yeah, one of the interesting things about being me is that people, like, they argue with me about... Um, they argue with me with no facts. Like, why do you think you need shampoo for your hair? Right? Why do you think you need shampoo for your hair? Shampoo, shampoo for hair is a fucking scam. I don't use it. I haven't used it for probably four years, I think, is the last time I put shampoo in my hair. The, um, because shampoo destroy it strips your, let, let me teach you this. You don't know this, but you don't know this because nobody taught you but you're going to argue with me even though you've never thought about the issue. So much of my life is that people argue with me about things that they have never even thought about. If I tell you shampoo is a scam, oh, that is impossible. That, that is correct. Have you ever thought about it? Have you ever researched it? Have you ever actually looked into it? Have you ever? No, you haven't. Somewhere along the line, you were told you needed to use shampoo. Because of that, you put shampoo in your hair every day, and you never actually asked yourself if men need to shampoo their hairs. It never even occurred to you, but you have this visceral reaction against me. That's what I love about that's what I love about human nature. Nietzsche called it human all too human. Is you have this visceral response to something you've never even thought of. The, the expression goes, the less they know, the more they know it. So people who have never even actually looked into whether men need to shampoo their hair, they know it more than anyone else, more than people who have actually looked into it. What most people don't know is shampoo actually robs your hair of its natural oils and its natural body. So shampoo strips your hair of its natural body. And then you have to put conditioner in your hair, right? You have to, you have to shampoo your hair, robs your hair of body. And then you have to condition your hair to put the body back in your hair. Nobody, nobody ever thought, well, wait a minute. If I got to shampoo my hair, why do I need to shampoo and condition, right? It doesn't make sense. A lot of people talk about my hairline. You can find old pictures of me, and I've always had this hairline. Hairline is actually about DHT conversion and how your body converts to DHT. But it's completely different than, than anything else, okay? So you don't actually need men anyway. Women have longer hair. It's a different issue. Men don't need to shampoo their hair. So all you need to do is rinse it out. You rinse your hair out. Because if you work in a factory or something, obviously it's different. All you need to do is you just need to rinse your hair out with water to get the debris out. And then that's it. This is all five years. You can talk to Shauna. You can talk to anybody. And then you need to eat, you need to eat a can of sardines a day. You need to eat sardines every day for the omega the omega fatty acids the central fatty acids now what happens is when you first no it doesn't get greasy your that's the thing your hair has natural oils and your oil become becomes balanced when you stop washing your hair 
So it might be greasy for a couple months, but then what happens is that it will restore the balance. The balance of your hair will be restored. So yeah, a lot of people, a lot of people like think that you have to wash your hair. <laughs> people are saying it's gross. You've actually never even, you've never even actually looked at it. That's what I love. Do you know why? Do you know why you wash your hair? Do you know why you wash your hair with shampoo every day if you're a man? Because the advertising industry told the newspapers, "Hey, we have this product called shampoo. We'll advertise in your newspapers, but you need to tell the sheep." You need to tell the sheep they need to use shampoo. So news, the same hoaxing media, the same hoaxing media has told people, well, you need to use shampoo. Well, because of advertising. Because of advertising. So then the, 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 the media, the media, the media will teach you things. The media will say, oh, well, you need to wash your hair. Well, what a coincidence if you turn the page a couple of pages in, then you're going to find advertisements for shampoo. It fucking blows my mind. And it blows my mind that people, breakfast is also a hoax. You should not eat breakfast. Most people are better off not eating breakfast. So it actually, it cracks me up that people think, it cracks me up that people are convinced, people who have never researched the issue have this strong belief that you need to wash your hair. I think I think it is hilarious. So you don't you don't need to use shampoo. You don't need to use shampoo. And people say, uh, you know, you argue with me. Again, I've always had a hairline like this. I, you know, this is my actual hair: thick, full-bodied, sheeny hair, quite luxurious. I have great head of hair, and I don't I don't wash it. I rinse it out with water. All you need to do is rinse it out with water. Occasionally, you can put some coconut oil in it. So you take, no, it doesn't smell. You don't, like, just think about the logic of, think about the logic of why would your head smell? Did, did your arm, did you ever go, your forearm doesn't smell because what makes you have body odor is bacteria grows in a moist environment. So you're gonna have you smell bad in your underarms because why? Because you have a moist environment. So you haven't even thought about the issue. Smell your forearm. Go a week without washing your forearm. Your forearm isn't gonna smell like anything because your forearm isn't gonna be a breeding ground for bacteria. This is just basic logic, basic science. Your underarms smell bad because it is a moist environment due to the skin-on-skin -skin contact, and because of that, bacteria breeds, and then the bacteria uh, meshes with your own bacteria, and it smells bad. That's why your armpits smell bad. Your armpits don't smell bad because there's anything inherent about armpits. Your armpits smell bad because your skin-to-skin um, -skin contact, friction, heat, body heat, moist environment, bacteria... So your forearm doesn't your forearm doesn't ever smell like anything. Smell your calf. Your calf muscle doesn't smell like anything because it's just a calf. Your scalp is the same way. How how is your head? How is your scalp going to smell bad? Where's the where's the breeding ground for bacteria on your scalp if you rinse off your hair? If you rinse off your hair with water, which is all you need to do, then you're not going to smell bad. The sweat is going to be rinsed off with water. So that is what cracks me up is that people are – this has been known too for a long time. Two, here's a 1998 article. 1998 article. The Great Shampoo Scandal. Google it. Google it. The, the Great Shampoo Scandal. Shampoo is a – shampoo is a scam. <laughs> it's funny because people don't know it. People don't know it. People are going to argue with me. People are going to argue with me. Even though they've ever, never, now women are different because women have longer hair. It is different. But if you're a man and you keep your hair relatively short, then actually not having shampoo is better for your hair. So Google the great shampoo scandal. Google, Google it, the great shampoo scandal. You won't believe it. You can also wash your hair with um, all natural soap. So you can use a, uh, a soap that is so um, there's a thing called sodium lauryl sulfate sulfite sodium lauryl sulfite 
you don't want that in your shampoo so or, or in your soap. So if you get all natural soap, which is glycerin, glycerin, you just get the glycerin, Dr. Broner, or something like that, rinse off your hair. You don't need shampoo. If you're worried about it smelling, which usually isn't a problem unless you're very filthy, unless you're a dirty person, then you can just use a little bit of gl glycerin soap or like Dr. Broner's or something, a little bit of soap, beeswax, rinse it in your hair and that's it. So this is just another thing that kind of blows me away that like I, there are so many things that I know that are actually true and that other people just don't know. And then people argue with me violently, like they're so convinced. They're so convinced that they're right when really you're wrong. You're, you're just reality. So that's your red pill for the night. It's true. Don't take my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Just Google shampoo is a scam. Google shampoo is a scam and you will realize that you don't need shampoo at all. You absolutely 100% don't need shampoo at all. It is a lie. If you've never looked at the issue, then don't argue with me. You need to actually think for yourselves rather than rather than say, "Oh, oh, you know, you got to use you got to use shampoo." Well, really, do you have to because you've never looked into it? So if you haven't looked into it, then I'm not interested in your opinion because I've looked into it. I haven't used shampoo in my hair in four years. And show me people whose hair looks like this my age. Show me people in their 20s hair looks like this, right? This is a good head of hair. Now a lot of that is genetic, but you can't tell me shampoo is not, you can't tell me I have to use shampoo when I haven't used it for four years because shampoo is a, a ripoff. And it is another ripoff the media created. The media wanted the advertising dollars from shampoo company. TV wants advertising dollars from shampoo company. Shampoo. Because if you put shamp if you put shampoo in your hair, it's like putting poop in your hair. It just messes it up. So if you put shampoo in your hair, you're making advertisers a lot of money. You're making big multinational corporations a lot of money. Those people all buy advertising and they Therefore, the media is not going to tell you the truth about it. So much in life, so much in life is controlled by advertising, and there there are certain truths that other people can't tell you about shampoo because that would affect advertising dollars, and it really is just the reality. So that's the truth. Again, not interested in anybody arguing with me. Not interested in anybody sharing an uninformed opinion. Do the research. Do the homework yourself. And you'll realize antiperspirant actually causes Alzheimer's. So that's a different conversation. But there's aluminum. There's aluminum and you can wear deodorant but not antiperspirant. There's a difference. Deodorant keeps you smelling nice. Antiperspirant contains aluminum oxide. And aluminum oxide can be absorbed through your skin and go to your brain and give people Alzheimer's. So that is the reality. But that's a different conversation. Let's just say that a lot of things that you use, a lot of products you use, are not only, not only unnatural, they're not only unnatural, they're not only unnatural, but they're actually harmful. But let's just baby steps, right? Baby steps. But deodorant, not antiperspirant. Again, deodorant, not antiperspirant. I'm not going to go into all the, all the details now, but antiperspirant does cause Alzheimer's disease. The aluminum in antiperspirant will give you Alzheimer's. So antiperspirant actually gives you Alzheimer's disease and cognitive decline, and that's just reality. But deodorant doesn't. So if you notice when you read the label, it'll say deodorant, or it'll say deodorant and antiperspirant. The antiperspirant, or the antiperspiration agent, is the aluminum oxide, and that is what is going to give you Alzheimer's. So that's all. Maybe I'll do another periscope. I want to keep it separate. This is an important truth that most people don't know. Most people don't know the truth that shampoo is actually a scam. Thanks for tuning in. Mike Cernovich, DangerPlay.com. Gorilla Mindset. Think for yourself. Okay. Do your own research. Don't repeat the meat with the media. 
has told you because you're being lied to by so much that it, I mean, it really is mind blowing. It really is mind blowing what they tell you. That's the reality.